Am I going to just snipe about it or am I actually willing to step in and do something about it? Jeff Collins is a political rookie running for the state house this fall. He's a Republican facing one-term incumbent Randy Stewart from District 25 in Rocky Mount. It's an uphill fight, according to NC State political science professor Stephen Green, because Democrats have a 10-seat majority in the state Senate and 16-seat majority in the state House. The big advantage for Democrats is they have that majority. The vast majority of their incumbents are running for re-election and can be expected to win re-election. However, some big-name Democrats in the General Assembly have announced their retirement. The incumbents stepping down include R.C. Souls, Julia Bozeman, Tony Rand, and at least nine others. Some retirements are shrouded in controversy. Speaker of the House Joe Hackney told the Associated Press his party's prospects are not hurt. Referring to former state lawmakers Jim Black and Thomas Wright, who were imprisoned in corruption probes, Hackney said, quote, in previous election years, the corruption associated with Black and Wright didn't bleed into other legislative districts by hurting the prospects of other Democratic incumbents just by association. It shouldn't happen this year either. Those retirements and political ambition are fueling a Republican resurgence. We believe that by filing deadline, we will have one of the largest set of challengers that's ever been fielded in North Carolina in these House races. Representative Tom Tillis is the House Republican whip in the General Assembly. He says Republicans have strategically targeted districts that they are most likely to win in November and look for quality candidates in those districts. He also impresses upon candidates that they are just a piece to a larger puzzle. They're candidates that are new to the process. They're bringing new ideas. They're bringing different perspectives. Last year's Tea Parties are bringing some of those people into politics for the first time. But political experts say opposition is not enough. All they have done is say, we're against this, we're against this. You have to be for something. Of course, new candidates have to pay for their campaigns and should get their fundraising started early to show they're serious. The earliest indicator that somebody is a credible candidate is their ability to raise money. Polls aren't going to matter, and, and nobody's going to know who, who's running this early in legislative districts, much less on Election Day. While most people don't watch politics, elections still matter. Running for local office is one of the most important things that citizens can do. A lot of people will thank you and say, I'm so glad you're running. For Collins and Rocky Mount, it's about change. Uh, we're so dominated by one party in both houses of our legislature as well as in the executive branch. I don't think that's a good thing. For CarolinaJournal.tv. I'm Anthony Greco.